Hello dear friend, today I will show you how to repair your air conditioner for the price of just one dollar. This is the air conditioner, it's split type unit, brand Midea. Now I will show you what is the problem. I just plugged it in the power and I will let it finish the pre-defrost function and then you will see how it will show fault. Most important, I will show you how to fix this issue super easy. This procedure can be done for almost every brand and model of split type air conditioners. The turbine fan, which should blow the air through the air conditioner, is trying to start running now, you can see it. But this is not what it should be. It should go much faster for proper work. This shows me that there is a problem with the capacitor which is helping the turbine run properly because it's not capable to reach the necessary RPMs, the air conditioner control board will tell the unit to stop because of a failure. In other words, the unit will run for a while, you can see it, but then it will stop because of the failure. That's because the capacitor is probably faulty. Here, here you can see that the turbine just stopped turning and the unit shows by uh, blinking lights that there is a fault you can see it on the front panel it's blinking lights this means there is a fault and the unit just stopped I already fixed a dozen of air conditioners this way it was always the same problem with all of them now I will show you how I did it first of all we have to turn on the air on, off the air conditioner of course and unplug it from the power then we have to wait a couple of minutes this will let the capacitors inside to discharge because they store electricity and it could be dangerous for you now i will leave the camera aside to show you how to disassemble the unit and proceed further we have to reach the electronics inside where we are going to actual fix the unit and do the procedure you can see here i'm unscrewing all the screws excuse me i just had to have uh, for a little quick a snack now when i have removed all screws i will remove the front panel and reach the main board of the unit So my friends, this is it, this is how it looks inside the unit. Here we are going to look for the capacitor which is responsible for the turbine fan. When we reached so far, here is the main board. I will pull the board a little. This will let me reach the legs of the capacitor. Here we can see the big capacitor. You should look for those largest capacitors inside. It's actually the largest one inside the unit. It is what we are looking for. We could find a substitute for the element, but I will leave it in here and I will use a similar one to solder it in parallel with this faulty one. I will leave the old capacitor in place. It's a non-polarity polarity capacitor, so we don't need to worry about polarity. In other words, there is uh, no plus and minus here. We can just swap bravely red and black wires here. I will use similar capacitor with wires. Then I will solder the wires on the other side of the breadboard and I will put the capacitor somewhere inside the unit. Here is the capacitor which I am going to use. It's non-polarity one, 3.5 microfarads, 450 volts. It's not brand new, I just took it from some old washing machine, but it will do the job just fine. I measured it before and it's uh, storing its capacity, so it will do the job, as I said, just fine. We, we can use any capacitors in between 1.5 and 5 microfarads and five, uh, 450 volts or more. Note that it should be 
non-polarity one. I guess this will solve the problem. You can buy this element for about two dollars from Radio Shack or some other radio radio stores. I will remove the the connectors and press solder the wires of the capacitor. Here I will show you the how I solder the wires on the board. You can see how I touch the wires on the back of the capacitor. As I said, you don't have to worry about the polarity here. Now put the capacitor somewhere. We have to be careful not to touch the piping inside the unit. After that, I will put back the board and rearrange the wires carefully. Then I will put back the plastic panels and I will test it. So dear friends, this is how this repair has been done. Now I will plug the back I will plug back the power and see the remote control to and I will use the remote control to turn it on. And let's see the result. Here is the remote control. Maybe you notice that this remote control looks kind of strange. The lower half looks brand new while the upper part is yellowish. Actually, I used a very interesting technique to lighten half of the remote control. If you are interested of this life hack, please check my channel. There you will find a video dedicated on this experiment. Okay, let's turn the air conditioner on now. I have climbed back to the unit to show you how to how the turbine will react after the fix we just done. Now it's performing pre-defrost and in seconds it will start running. Okay, it's ready now and it will start working. Now you can see how it's working actually much faster than before. You can hear it and it can be felt already. There is a heat coming out of the unit now. That means that we just fixed this air conditioner. Dear friends, you just saw how easy it was to repair this unit for the cost of about two dollars. If you find this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more amazing videos. See you soon friends and hit that like button now.